what's up you guys so welcome back to our channel inside python and now we are going to be starting a new series on android development so we're going to be developing things with kiwi so in this series uh, we're going to be learning how to use kiwi so now the applications you create in kiwi can be used on different platforms with the same code so suppose you created a thing in linux an application in linux you can deploy it over android you can deploy it uh, over mac ios etc etc there is no limit for that so in this series we're going to be learning exactly how to how to you know create applications and all those cool stuff we're going to be learning designing uh, those applications to our need as per the kiwi designing files now if you don't know these words uh we will learn in the later course right now so now before moving on i want you all to follow us on our instagram page as inside python as usual the link will be down in description and also subscribe to this channel for more of such content so now the first thing you want to do is you want to install kiwi so how to do that so okay so now we need to install kiwi now pip install kiwi is enough but you want to go to the higher standards all those if you don't know how to create a virtual environment and suppose so go to kiwi.org kiwi.org now it is a kiwi with a y not e i sorry so this is the official page for the kiwi documentation it has documentation etc etc so go to this download thing now to this uh, link this link will be down in description so it is very you know user friendly they show the operating system here and instructions are there so you if you're using windows install it os x etc so i'm using linux so i will be clicking on installation linux so it will guide me here so it has everything here so it is everything so just copy these commands and paste it on your terminal etc etc cmd etc and just do this so now i'm not going to be showing you these commands copying these commands are just you know for upgrading and creating virtual environments i'm going to be showing you the real me so now uh, virtual environment is a must for kiwi so now since i will be using pycharm so it automatically creates a virtual environment we are programmers right we automate stuff not literally do stuff on our own as usual so just go to your terminal now i recommend using a virtual environment i'm not showing you how to create a virtual environment right in this video just go to this uh, page installation page so you will find how to set up the virtual environment and then then okay so right here pip install kiwi with a y okay so i already have kiwi installed so it is going to show me that requirement already satisfied so i'm not doing this so that's it uh, you right now install kiwi now how to check that you successfully install kiwi so go on uh, to your python interpreter write cmd write in cmd python 3 or python as suppose and write import kiwi so if you get such output if you get such output then it satis uh, it confirms that you have kiwi installed so i will be going on to my pycharm i previously created a directory as my app so as to so as to save some time i already created a virtual environment for this as when so i don't need to do it my ide already does that and i have created a main.py file here in which we will do coding right now okay so now the first thing you want to do is you want to import app from kiwi.app so right here from kiwi.app uh, let me just go on with the brightness a bit more uh, okay so kiwi.app right as here import app with the a capital and now we're going to be importing a label because i'm going to be showing you something like that so in from kiwi.ui app x dot label import label with a capital l so now you might be seeing a pattern over here as uh, it is kiwi.app then a capital a with the app now these are classes and these are modules so here uix is a folder and then label is a module and then l capital it becomes a class so now kiwi works in an object oriented way so i recommend you learn object oriented programming first with python and then come to the series otherwise you will be in the whole series confused and all mazed up labyrinth like that so just go to the uh, the official python tutorial for this uh, object oriented programming the link will be down in the description and first of all learn object oriented programming and then come here so i will be defining a class here as my app so now remember classes names always do in pascal notation that is the first letter of every word becomes capital comes 
you have to do it capital and this class will inherit from app so now what I did just here we inherited the app class into my app <coughs> excuse me so this is the main thing now I will be creating a build function okay I will be creating a build function so this build function is what runs automatically so now you might be saying that why I didn't created the constructor as dunder in it so the reason for that is right when I inherited this app one so the init function already got inherited from this so when I will learn uh, so when I will run the my app class so it will automatically run that init function from the app class so we don't need any kind of init function here so in this function we are going to be returning a label object now this is the class and it uh, has one parameter it takes one argument as text in which we obviously uh, specifies a test uh, text we want to display on the GUI so inside Python so text is equal to inside Python now let's try to run it so I'm going to be running uh, so type here if name equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore okay so if you don't know these line then just check the internet the internet is whole messed up with that so I will be writing here my app dot run now remember these parentheses because because it is a class now you might be wondering that I haven't created a run function here did I define any run function no I didn't define so where does this run function come from so this comes from the inheritance of the app class so run function is run is a method of basically the app class so we have inherited in so we can use every function that app class has us to offer so let's try to run it over here so I've saved it okay so it is running 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 so see we got our GUI over here and it shows inside Python now the one now I'm going to be showing you what creates a Kiwi so special in multi-platform things so suppose if I resize it so you know this uh, uh, so this text already got automatically got resized according to the screen size I just specified it doesn't hide it like the TK inter thing so suppose if I have to deploy it over uh, Android so the Android amount of screen should be like this suppose this is your Android so it automatically sets things up for you so this is what creates this is the special speciality of Kiwi that creates it multi-platform so now I think I will be moving on to the next video from now uh, to now so in the next video I'm going to be teaching you how to create some more things like buttons etc etc a grid layouts etc and then we will be moving on to the main thing as the Kiwi designer language I will sh show you that in the later videos so subscribe to this channel right now if you want more of such videos it will really encourage us and also hit the like too and thanks for watching our video